the sandy lateritic soil is crisscrossed by deep tire tracks. The branches of cashew nut trees stalk the ground. Air is thick with wafting scent of molasses from the nearby town. Mercury soars to a scorching 40 degrees Celsius. Humidity, a draining 85%. Suddenly, the ground shakes with loud thumbs as precisely timed explosions go off every few minutes. The shooting party of GP39 is busy at work in the remote village of Kadampuliyur in Tamil Nadu. Through the thick jungles, the field party, an army of explorers, moves about with a sense of controlled urgency. They are one of the 28 geophysical field parties all over the country who are shooting seismic surveys in Indian geological basins. The region to be explored is vast and sometimes inhospitable. From the mountains of Himachal, deserts of Rajasthan, jungles of northeast, coastal plains in south, to the turbulent waters of Indian offshore. Everywhere, these units for ONGC are the first interface with society as well as with Earth. The quest. Discover oil. Finding oil is dependent on precise mapping of the Earth's interiors. Mathematical precision is the key. The team is endowed with a positive belief. They will find hydrocarbons. At the base camp, the area is identified for seismic survey. The party crew takes note of all maps, technical requirements and the logistics of working area. Setting up a field party camp is a lesson in man and material management. Field seasons are determined by monsoons. They differ from region to region. It's always a race against time and elements of nature. At the field, the survey crew is all set with the maps to mark the boundaries of survey area as per coordinates. The positioning system transfers the location on ground meticulously. Red marks identify the position of receivers, which is different from blue, which tells the location of shot holes. Drilling and cables follow suit. The cable laying crew lays cables along the survey line. Through the cables, several receivers, called geophones, are connected to the recording unit. In this well-orchestrated operation, the instrument crew is next to arrive. In field, recording instrument is the nerve center for all the activities. Every activity in field is recorded and logged here. The contractor crew is now ready to drill the shot holes. Drilling for the shot holes is a symphony of man and machine. Each hole over 40 meters in depth, 25 to 50 meters apart. For a full 3D mapping of the area, the explosive loading crew conducts hundreds of explosions. The signals received will unravel the composition of rocks thousands of meters below the surface of the earth. Explosives measuring 2.5 to 5 kilograms along with a prime detonator cap are loaded in the shot hole. Live detonators and explosives. It can't get riskier than this. Instructions are urgent and reverberate through the static of walkie-talkie. The vibrations created by the explosion reflect off the different layers of the earth. 
the cheer phones relay them to the recording truck. In the midst of nowhere, under the watchful gaze of sometimes strange visitors, the geophysicist checks the data. On site, quality assurance is a positive increment. All ONGC field parties are QHSE certified. Safety is paramount. Operations ensure minimum damage to the environment. As evening shadows lengthen, it is time to return to the camp. Bright red cables are wound up. Instruments loaded. The caravan comes back to a quiet camp. There is more work to do. At the camp, there are no off hours. The batteries need to be charged. The equipment problems to be tested and fixed. The field party camp has an old world charm. In the thatched roof office of the party chief, the team meets again to discuss the day's events and plans for tomorrow. The base is informed of the daily progress through SAP. Every day brings in its wake newer problems and newer challenges. It could be a farmer's crop compensation or a damaged road in the village. As night turns into days, and days into months, the field party bonds into a family. It's a home away from home. The tents of yesteryears have given way to neat bunks. Every 21 days, backpack in place, someone from the party trudges to the nearest bus stop for the long journey back home. Next day brings fresh beginnings and newer goals. The silent sentinels get ready for yet another day. A yoga session keeps the mind alert and body fighting fit. Badminton is a favorite sport. As the sun rises on the horizon, heat envelops the camp. Party chief office is abuzz with activities. The caravan is ready to move. The truckload of wires is unloaded on a newer location. The army has begun its march on an unbeaten path again. In offshore, ONGC service ship Sagar Santhani moves majestically in the deep blue waters with streamers trailing behind. The streamer lines over six kilometers in length have air guns which shoot air under high pressure. The sound waves reflected by the subsurface layers are captured by hydrophones. On the vessel, there is never a dull moment. The massive swell in the sea keeps the bile rising. With every turn of the vessel, the stomach churns. Sometimes the fishing boats come too close and pose a threat to the streamers. The hardships are many. Bunkering and crew change is also on high seas. The vessel moves day and night, at times for 10 months at a stretch. The seismic data collected both onshore and offshore is sent to data processing centers. Geophysicists and geologists pore over these and zero in on locations with a high probability of hydrocarbon occurrence. ONGCians play a tough game in exploration. ONGCians in field parties play a tougher game in the fields. They deserve the best because they deliver the best. After all, the geophysical field parties find the trace to prosperity for ONGC and India.